Welcome back guys. Today I am gonna set up a new sensor that is LPS 25 HP. Now I will be interfacing the sensor and I will be explaining everything about the sensor regarding its code. So to gain more knowledge about this sensor let's have a look about the sensor and the best way is to look over the website that is controleverything.com and here we have to search for the respective sensor that is LPS 25 HP and let's say it's a pressure sensor as you can see MEMS uh, the range is 260 to 1260 hectopascal absolute digital output barometer as you can see uh, these are some of its features and you can also purchase the sensor from here well I will be interfacing the sensor LPS 25 HP with a USB Pi and I require a Python code so for that let's have a look over the resource tab and here comes the Python code sample now you can download the python code sample as zip file from this very link from this very site now you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now what i do want is to make connections regarding the hardware along with this sensor and make some connections for this interfacing and the working let's see that now looking forward to make some connections regarding the hardware first of all we require our sensor that is LPS 25 HP which you are able to see on my screen now this here is a Raspberry Pi and these are the GPI pins of the Pi further on to make a connection among the Raspberry Pi and the sensor we need an I2C sheet so that we can connect and make certain connections with other I2C devices also and this connection should be a lot easier so gently place this I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Let me tell you something that this I2C shield is also available on the website controleverything.com. Now we need a connecting cable just like this and make a connection among the sensor and the cable. While making this connection, make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly for the I2C shield also. Now we want to power up our Raspberry Pi and we need a micro USB cable just like this and gently put it over the power jack. Finally we need an internet connection so that we can connect our Raspberry Pi. So an internet cable is required, we can insert it up over the power jack. Also if we don't have that, we can use a nano wireless Wi-Fi adapter, a USB adapter as you can see and we can also use it. So we are done with the connections part. What we require is our code so that we can have an interfacing and working along the sensor. Well, as we are done with the connections for the hardware we need, now we need to have a look over, a good look over the Python code so that we can have the interfacing and the working done with the sensor. So we need to visit the website that's github.com and here we have to search on the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen now pass it over and here let's have a look over the sensor we need to look after and this is the python code I am talking about now let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow and familiarize and it says that we have to download and install SMS library on the Raspberry Pi and the steps are being provided on this link let's have a link view so that we can have a better chances for the installation and correct as you can see dependencies commands everything is being in the place please note it down carefully now this is the command to run the python code note it down let me get back to the python code as you see it's a dot py extension file first thing you notice in the code that we have imported libraries it's smbus and time and we have the address of the sensor that is 0x5c now comes the writing section part where we have to send some commands to make the sensor understanding of a part of D now we have to select control register where address is 0x20 and the command we send here is to active mode continuous update comprising the data for 0x90 now we are done with this writing command as you can see after that we have a sleep function so that it will familiarize with the command the sensor and it will respond back and we will catch up the response as you can see we are reading data back from the register that is 0x28 or with 80 that's the command register and we are reading 3 bytes of pressure data after 
that data we are converting the data into hectopascal which is the unit we are referring to for the pressure uh, we are using the formulas and the details that has been provided alongside the data sheet at the very end of our code we want to print the data on the screen that the parametric pressure uh, in the hectopascal in the format is two well places or floating point value the pressure now it's a very simple and genuine code as you can see in the python for the response for the sensor that's lps 25 hp now what we're gonna do is to show the working the practicality of this code let's do it now for the practicality of this code first step is to copy this code as you can see on my screen copy this entire python code open up the terminal for the raspberry pi through the internet now here create a new file lps 25 hp for the name dot py is the extension for the python file here paste the entire code save it and this is the command to run the code for the python as you can see we have the data in the barometric pressure is there the values are almost constant as there is no pressure and it's a constant pressure now when I apply some pressure, exert some pressure, you can see the changes in the barometric pressure. Now it's continuously increasing. So this is how the sensor works alongside the code with the Raspberry Pi. Now what do we want is to show the benefits, the features and the reason why this sensor is being in so many applications. Let's have it. So we have seen the hardware connections explanation of the code, working of the code regarding the sensor LPS 25 HP. The LPS 25 HP is a PZO raised to absolute pressure sensor which functions as a digital output barometer. The device comprises a sensing element and IC interface which communicates through I2C or SPI from the sensing element to the application. These features make it very important factor for the applications like altimeter and barometer for portable devices enhanced GPS applications, weather station equipment, wearable devices and a lot more. As you see, you can purchase the sensor from the website controleverything.com and you can get the code from the resource tab and furthermore you can download it from there also. Also you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. So in the end I would just like to make it clear that you guys have any kind of feeling like you are left without fully understanding any part of this video till now you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page here now if you want some articles blogs relevant to this video this sensor you can contact us on instructables.com and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can subscribe our youtube channel in the end I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one to yourself also. Thanks a lot for watching.